Hello again, everyone, and welcome to our weekly Watch Party Wednesday. I'm Lee Gordon coming to you live from Chicago, home of Brunswick, where we are thrilled to welcome in our incredible Freedom Boat Club owners and members from all over the world. And tonight we are excited to feature an exclusive Faces of Freedom Club spotlight special, truly Faces of Freedom. We've got the whole family here. We've got the Rizellas, the proud owners of the Freedom Boat Club in Delaware. How are you doing? Excellent, Lee. Thanks for having us. Thank you. And we, I don't know that we've ever done one where we've got the whole family together. So I think we're setting a new bar here, which I like. It's good. You know, and we've talked a lot before, you guys. And, you know, our Faces of Freedom Tour celebrates the many faces of freedom, including our members and owners such as yourselves, while also showcasing the diversity of the fleet and local boating destinations. And I know our Faces of Freedom team had a blast in Delaware. Somehow my invitation was, was missing, but we're going to get back to that. <laughs> um, can you guys just walk our members through what made the day so special and kind of tee up what we're going to see? in the video yeah so um i'm gonna take that one lee so first of all the thing that made it so easy was angela did a great job helping to prepare us and so we had everything ready so when the team showed up it worked like a well-oiled machine and the team was just fantastic to work with um they were fun uh, they were prepared they were very professional um, and we got to go and see a lot of different sites. We got to include a lot of our members and we got to have a great day out on the water. So I think that was what made it so special. And I'm really looking forward to seeing the, the video, the final product uh, at the end of this. I've seen the, some of the collateral, but I haven't seen it yet. So we're, re we're really looking forward to seeing that video as well. That's good. How about you guys? You know, you really, we, we talk so much about families and memories and, you know, summer is coming to an end, but we know the boating season doesn't stop. So what were some of your favorite memories this summer and what are some of the on-water adventures you're looking forward to this fall? Uh, for me, some of my favorite memories this year, I mean, this has been a very memorable season for a lot of reasons, but um, for us, it's been incredibly important in terms of growth and uh, so growth of our business, but growth personally and professionally. So I've had the opportunity to watch a lot of our staff uh, just really grow, including myself, right? But a lot of our staff as well grow in their professional careers and really step up and kind of make it happen while we, um, we do some uh, incredible things with our company. And so I think the biggest memory for me this summer uh, was just that, like watching people step into their roles and really take charge and, uh, and grow and, you know, be successful in the things that we ask them to do. And so I'll, uh, I'll never forget that. It was a great, great year as far as that goes. Yeah, I completely agree with Josh, you know, but if I look at this from uh, a different lens as well, which is on the water. Here in Delaware, we have, you know, lighthouses. It's always great to see the wildlife. We get bald eagles, but we also have plenty and plenty of dolphins. And that's my favorite, getting out in the water, watching the dolphins and uh, just so peaceful. Um, you also ask about the fall. We do spend some time down in Anna Maria and we did get a chance last year to go boating down there, and it was amazing. And so I'm really looking forward to uh, doing some more of that this fall. Oh, that's and great. also you know, getting up to the, oh, sorry, also no, getting up to the no. lower Hudson Valley and seeing, you know, the, the change of season from the water in the Hudson Valley. And that's, in, you know, we, we were just talking about that in here in, in the Chicagoland area when you get to take to the water and, and see the leaves change. And, and, and maybe that's going to answer this next question because we know that we've got 300 plus clubs and besides Delaware, what is your ultimate, and, and this is for all three of you, your ultimate Freedom Boat Club destination on your bucket list to visit? All right, I'll go first, yeah. So I already visited there and I got a little bit of a snippet, right, which is the Vancouver area. But I want to get back out there and I want to get up to the San Juan Islands. I hear it's just amazing. And so that's what I'm looking forward to. And for me, I've always wanted to go to New Mexico. And now that we are involved with Freedom Boat Club, to see that lonely little not dot on the map in the middle of the <laughs> desert makes it just that much more intriguing to get to New Mexico and, and check out that destination as well. Uh, I don't travel as much as these two. I'm more of a homebody, but uh, one of the places I've been meaning to get to and haven't had time, I'll, I'll do it soon, is to get down and visit my man, Andy Sutter, at uh, Hampton Roads <laughs> in Virginia. Looking forward to taking one of his boats out. <laughs> Very nice. So you guys, I know that was the easy question, but now I get the hard one and the most important one. In one word, what does Freedom Boat Club mean to you? We all talked about this, actually, you know, and, and we think the best word is empowerment. 
And when you think about the word empowerment, you know, it's empowering our, our staff to do the right thing, but also the members, you know, they feel very empowered on the water, especially the new members, you know, that are learning, just seeing their excitement as they grow their skills, you know, they learn themselves, they get trained by our captains. Empowerment's a great word. Agreed. How about you, Bev? Uh, well, I think that, you know, the same thing. And I, I just didn't want to use it again because I think <laughs> I used it the last time I spoke to you. But, uh, you know, for the Sea Sisters, I can tell you, which is a local chapter of the Freedom Boat Sisters here in Delaware, um, they are they are more and more empowered every day and you can just see it. They just feel so confident and confident out on the water. So empowerment for them too. Well, you guys, you guys are an incredible family and you've done so much for, for boating. And I cannot thank you enough for joining us here on our weekly watch party Wednesday members stay tuned for next week as we continue to celebrate the many faces of freedom here on freedom social. We'll